Hey everybody, Parth from Atlanta JDM here today looking at a 1991 Toyota Hilux. I'm actually here with Grant. He just flew down from New York just a couple hours ago. He is going to be purchasing this truck. Um, so, A, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. We've got the trucker out front, so this is probably going to be a quick video. It's unfortunate we didn't get a lot of time with it here, but it's also fortunate that we have a buyer for it already, so that's always good. Um, so, man, it's it's your truck. You want to walk around and, I don't know, tell me what you think about it, you know? Cool. Your first impressions. Yeah, I mean, I love these old Toyota trucks, and to find one that's diesel and four doors was really exciting for me. Oh, yeah, and I mean, and, and just, you know, real fast, too, if this truck does look familiar to anyone, it is the truck from Top Gear. Uh, the indestructible Toyota. The only difference is the Japanese had double cabs. We only got the single cabs. Right. It's really cool. Look. Any little gas cap. So really cool. Yeah, man, these Hiluxes are really, really popular. Um, you know, just with it, not only having Yoda. As it's branding and, you know, the reliability that, that that Toyota brings. But, like, literally this engine, this truck, like, you... They spent 30 minutes on top of you trying to, to destroy this thing. I highly recommend anyone uh, to go check those videos out. They're freaking awesome. A little old, but still. So, I mean, just, like, you know, first, first look, there is some paint fading everywhere. We were going to paint it, but Grant told us not to he said it added character which i totally agree with um like i mean i don't know man i've had a hard on for this truck ever since we got it and uh, i'm kind of bummed that i can't get to drive it a lot or really drive i didn't drive it much but uh it's such an awesome truck man i'm really happy for you and you know aside from the paint fade you know there's like little surface rust but you know uh, there's no rust anywhere like That's it's great. you know just on a couple nuts and bolts and stuff like that and the inside is really the well here let me show you the bed too and then the inside is really the one of the nicest parts of it um, there's a little bit of a tear on the driver's seat right here but other than that, the inside is stock for the most part, except the GPS and the radio. Uh, really clean. All the foam is good on the seats. The headliner is really nice. Let me get right here real fast, sir. Thank you. Like this is just a fine one in this condition. Really, really exciting. Um... <clears throat> It's got 174,557 kilometers. That's a little over 100,000 miles. Um, just a really awesome truck. I guess we'll show the hood real fast. I'm kind of bummed I had this whole like off-roading thing planned for this thing. Hey, you guys have some good trails here? Oh, dude, it's Georgia, man. We make the trails. Holy shit, that's clean. I think this was a 2.8 diesel. Yeah, that's right. All in its glory. Now, I, I don't clean my engine bays either, so this is like all JDM dust. Just an awesome truck, man. Here, let me turn it on real fast. Cranks right up. Jealous, man. Plenty of room for a little turbo. 
Yeah, I know, man. Uh, we, we talked about, you know, all the way from the airport, the plans he had for it uh, when he gets up to New York. Here's a trucker right now. We're almost done, man, I promise. What do you think of this thing, man? It's yours or you said? It's his now. Do a little bit of gas real quick. Japanese GPS ETC reader, so it talks to you. Oh, we need more of them. Trust me, we're looking for more. So we'll do, get together Sunday. But unfortunately, the video is going to be kind of short. Trucker's ready to go. Uh, Grant's also ready to go. He's spending the night in Buckhead. He's got plans. But this is it, man. I wish we could have gone more in depth with it. Um, this is kind of a, just a quick video of it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I uh, don't think we'll have time to do any driving in it. But uh, just wanted to at least get some kind of video. All right, so we are going to take a quick lap real fast. do a quick little lap oh nope that's not yeah no, I'm just oh. when you come back just park behind my truck okay me. all right i got you how's it feel it's funny wrong yeah. hand yeah <laughs> just with the wrong hand oh you break jumped in with us if you wanted to <laughs> but if he wants to walk that's fine let's see if he wants a ride I guess we could. you want to lift no, no, okay need <laughs> I need to walk a little too brother Weird shifting lefty. It, like, like I said, man, the hardest part is going to be the windshield wipers and the blinkers. You just did it. <laughs> <coughs> Let's take your time. This is a busy intersection. The school just let out, so be here for a second. But how do you feel in the seat, man? How's it like? Feels great. Fits good, man. Oh yeah. Now just remember I the Japanese it. radios only go up to like 900 FM. <laughs> I buy a little uh, either a uh, FM transmitter for like 15 bucks on Amazon, or you know I think there's a USB outlet. I'm not sure. And you're in the middle of uh, Japan, it looks like, on your GPS. <laughs> I got distracted by the kilometers per hour on the uh, speed gauge for a second. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've seen people make sticky notes, but you'll, you know, eventually I know the conversions. Yeah. yeah, it's got some balls. Everyone, everyone says this engine has no, uh, has no go. It feels okay. It's, it, I mean, it, it's, it's, it doesn't have as much pep that I'm used to, but like, I mean, dude, you literally can drive over anything in this thing too, so. No pep in fourth gear. That's okay. Yeah, I don't think these things were really made for speed, more <laughs> durability. <laughs>
Well, the four-way intersection, I think. Yeah, see, so remember I was telling you? You gotta remember to hug the outside lane. Yeah. Let me turn right here, yeah. Or the next one. Yeah, that left turn was just a little odd to have a car over there. Oh, yeah. You can turn right here if you want. Or wherever, really. Yeah, so there's a few things you gotta get used to in a right hand drive, but, uh, you know, nothing um, out of the ordinary or nothing that's gonna be impossible for you to overcome. This lady's like, what the hell? On the wrong side of the car, boy. You got a little beeper too when you're in reverse. Oh, I love that. <laughs> so we don't run over any children. Yeah. <laughs> Everything on the interior of this is almost identical to my 93. Mm -hmm. that, like um, I said, man, they're pretty much the same truck, except uh, yeah, that 93 you got a back seat. This is a work truck. Oh, wait. So, I, I feel a little bit better about getting parts. After seeing that, like I imagine a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the parts are going to transfer over, the non-engine parts. Oh, yeah, and then, like I said, too, you know, that's the... Suspension. That's the plus from buying from us too, man. Like, you have me for parts always. Now he's gonna want to pull the truck around the back of the truck, or of his truck, so we're gonna have to go up past it and then U turn one more time. Huh. Things drive beautifully at 60. Oh, yeah, man. Once you get there, you know, you're cruising. Like, yeah. uh, once you build the momentum, you're cruising for sure, dude. I'm actually, like I said, kind of butthurt that uh, I don't get to have a lot of fun with it. But we're already on the hunt for another one, so hopefully soon. Good. Whatever you do, make sure it's, like, a little bit less cool than this one. So <laughs> yeah, I definitely. So I don't, get I don't think I'll be able to find another bright orange one, dude. Like, uh, really, like, I mean, I'm not really a big into the flashy colors I guess but for some reason uh, orange just like suits this truck I right, remember we're gonna have to go all the way up yeah. to the light well Toyota's doing that whole thing with like all their TRDs now where they're all kind of funky bright colors you know mm. and so this being sort of an off-road vehicle fits in with that oh yeah definitely that bright turn around to the light or yeah just turn around to the light yeah I mean shit in this thing you could have turned around <laughs> pretty much anywhere but you can turn the light or you can make a U-turn over here. This is kind of a dead road also. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> like the amount of thumbs up I got from this thing driving it to the gas station like one time. Like more recognition than, you know, me driving in the 33 to be completely honest. Well, you just never see anything like it really. Mm-hmm. But all right, man, I guess we're going to get it loaded up. Uh, it'll be on its way to New York here in the next couple of minutes. You'll be flying back tomorrow. You'll have the truck probably like a couple days or so. Maybe yeah, next when, Monday, I think. Whenever I can meet him. And, uh, yeah, man, thanks for, you know, choosing us. And, you know, it was a pleasure meeting you. And yeah, I'm thank glad you. That, it's, uh, it's been an awesome experience. Very yeah, man. Easy. I'm glad that uh, we could find exactly what you want. But let's get out and help this guy. We'll see you all next time. Thanks.